my beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today I'm here to give you guys tips on what brushes are used for what you go off and you buy like a kit with tons of different brushes and you're like oh my gosh I don't know what to use what for I don't know which brush is used for which function I don't know how to use it and basically this is for that I know that you guys have probably opened up your brush set and were like Don't feel panicked. Let me show you exactly which brush is used for what. So if you have not subscribed, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so that you can get more videos from yours truly. So if I had to say, in my opinion, which brushes are really important for you if you're starting as a beginner at makeup. You know, you don't need to have every single brush in the set. If you want to learn how to do your own makeup and have your own brushes, I know that brushes are really, really essential for the application of, of makeup. I feel like in order to do your makeup and have flawless eyeshadow and flawless foundation, you need the right tools. So um, this is basically just to give you an idea of what you can buy and what is important to start off with. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. So yeah. Yeah, let's get to it so let's start with foundation so in order to apply foundation flawlessly you definitely need a good brush right um, I know some people use the applicators that come with powder uh, brushes sometimes it's like a little spongy thing I tend to find that that doesn't really work very well so so one brush that I feel is really really important is a foundation brush because I know foundation is used widely by a lot of women and if you use foundation, you want to do it and apply it in a way that it looks flawless and doesn't look unnatural. One brush that I feel that is used a lot and most widely and will come in the set usually is a foundation brush. It's really, if you can look at it, it's really flat. It's like this. And it's like kind of an oval pointed type brush. Thicker, stronger bristles, right? The bristles are, are tend to be quite hard. So this is also that you can apply the foundation in like almost like you're painting your face on however I find that sometimes if you don't apply it the right way it leaves like strokes so you see lines from the bristles which I don't really like a good brush to have is a brush a buffer brush so guys excuse the brush I've been using this I just applied my foundation for this video so the buffer brush looks something like this some of them have different shades but what is most important is that it's dense right it has a lot of bristles within the circumference of the brush so that will really help with application and when you apply it to apply it in a circular motion blending it really nicely into the skin that really applies the foundation flawlessly another amazing tool that you could use to blend in your foundation is a beauty blender guys this sponge is everything it literally does the things it comes in several shapes and sizes. You can use it wet or dry. I choose to use it wet just so that I can apply the foundation or you can even blend the concealer into your skin with this blender. Definitely get yourself one of these. Um, yeah, so that's basically <laughs> what do you need for foundation? Another important amount of brushes are the eyebrow brushes. So I know this region is very important. It's the frame of the face, like I've said before in my eyebrow tutorials. So having good brushes for that is very important. These three brushes are really important for that. So the first brush I use is a spoodle brush. So the spoodle brush actually looks like the tip of a mascara brush, right? It has spiky bristles. You actually use it to brush out your eyebrows into to order. Let's just put it that way. And then from there you use the brown, the brown pencil for your eyebrows or the brown shadow or whatever it is that you use to do your eyebrows with. So I also use it to kind of like blend out the pencil so that it doesn't have those hard lines. This is definitely a very important brush to have. So if you want to get another brush that's important, this for me is second on the list. Another brush you can use to brush your eyebrows, usually comes with this type of set, is a brush like this. Right, it's got like a comb type thing on the side and it's got a brush type thing on the other side. And this also helps, but I, I barely use this one. The other brush that I find is really important is the angled brush. This is my best friend. So this is for concealer and to shape the eyebrows and to give it that precision. I know people use, some people use a straight angled brush. Um, 
very similar to this but it's straight at the tip it doesn't have a descending type of appearance um, on the side and yeah that's one of the brushes that are used for that another brush that I feel is very 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 important is a blending brush right so this was is when you actually now want to apply your eyeshadow you want to blend it so it gives you that very smoky um, seamless look and it's not hard lines a blending brush is very important so a blending brush looks like this it's very um, how can I say it's 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 feathery at the end so yeah, that's what it looks like there's several different blending brushes there's some that are quite dense together and then there's some that are actually um, separated more which gives you more of a feathery effect so the more um, spread and separated the brush the more feathery the effect when blending that's how I feel um, and then there's also the flat application brush so this one you know I don't I sometimes use other brushes for functions that they're actually not meant for and so for this one I actually use it sometimes even just to apply some concealer on the bottom of my eyes and or just putting some primer on my eyelids and stuff like that so basically it's a, it's almost like a, a miniature sh a miniature shape of the foundation brush mm -hmm. so it looks like this it's flat like that it gives you more control over where you want to apply something so I feel like when you want to apply something right here it's not like feathery and doesn't go all over the place you apply it flat and it's quite precise so this is why I like this brush and why it's important so if you want to be applying maybe some concealer this could be very helpful to just help you line where you want to put it another important brush I feel is the angled blush brush this brush as you can see is angled you know um, this is perfect for the cheekbone structure so if you want to be applying some blush you can just put it like this on the cheekbone and that gives you the control as to where it goes you know when you put blush you don't want to put blush all over your cheek so you want it on a certain angle of your cheeks like even blush or highlighter or whatever you don't want to put it all over the cheek you just want to put in a section of it and this allows it because of the shape it allows it to go on that corner so that's what I feel is really really handy and really important so this brush get yourself one of these another important brush for me on a beginners level is the powder brush now the powder blush brush I think is like the most popular known brush everybody knows this brush it's like bigger there's even bigger than this but it's bigger and it's got like a, a wider trapeze shape if I could say that and you know it's it blends all of the powder onto the skin so instead of putting it with the powder applicator sponge or whatever that comes with the powder that you buy you use this and you tap off the excess product and you blend that that works amazingly another brush that a lot of people use or a lot of people get in their sets is the lipstick brush so this is basically a brush that looks like this right it's it's very I don't know if you guys can see it's it's pointed enough to actually line the lips and small enough to kind of put lipstick around the lips you can buy the most expensive brushes you can buy the most expensive makeup but if you don't know how to apply it you won't have that finish practice makes perfect and have having the correct tools to start you off it will get you in order so definitely go and get yourself some brushes so those are the brushes that I feel are very important on basics of the basics of makeup uh, to have those brushes will really really help out with the application of your makeup guys I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you don't feel like you need to get every single brush there is please do let me know in the comment section below if you would like any more tips on what to start off using as a beginner I'll do a video for you in terms of products that you can use that won't break your back um, so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video and with that being said from me your beauty cheerio